I'm going to show you how to install a Hudson flow valve into a water tank and the purpose of this Hudson flow valve is to um, keep us from overfilling our water. Um, so the water will come up and hits the little um, paddle here, puts it over and it um, keeps water from going in here. So, but before I do that is I pre-planned where everything was going to go. So right now, my Hudson float valve is right here. I have a return. Um, actually, this is my water line for my soap, um, for my injector, so that way I can clean out my injector. I have another line right here for my, my downstream injector. And then I have another one inch um, bulk fitting that is going to feed this or going to um, feed this so that way we can clean out the um, this pump. So this is a a a, um, a common pump, and how it works is it takes a lot of flow in and it can flow a lot of water, and then it actually shoots one back in there. But this, more importantly, is is so that we can clean this pump out. Um, we can turn a couple valves clean this pump out, and then we don't have to worry about this pump going bad because of the valve not being cleaned out. So that is why we are going to, um, it'll suck out of the top of the tank, it'll have some valve down here, and then go out. I, I Originally, I was going to put this one up here in the front, but this is where my, my main line is coming into my pump, so I don't want it to suck too much water out. So right now, Ho, we're going to show you how to put the Hudson float valve in. Um, what some things we're going to need is, is obviously we're going to need the Hudson float valve. Um, so that's the box there. The next thing we're going to need is, is a one inch to one inch um, NPT. And that screws right in here like so. Then we're also going to need a one inch bulkhead. So right here is our one inch bulkhead. Um, when we screw it on, I'll show you what I do so that way I can try to get as much water in there as I can. Um, this one, we're actually going to stick up in there and have this sticking out so that way we can get as much water as we can. And then we got a one inch to three quarter inch elbow or three quarter inch water barb. That way our barb is actually going to go back. It's going to go through a filter and then it'll go into our water hose back here. So the first thing I like to do is is go ahead and I like to use some true blue um, um, true blue here and we're just going to put some um, putty on them. Um, I'll, I'll do one side and then do the next so that way I'm going to get the stuff all over my hands, all over myself, all that good stuff like that. Put a nice little coating on there and then we're just going to screw this in there nice and snug. And you got to remember sometimes if this thing don't work, you got to make sure that you're not getting crap in there. There's a little screen in there. And if there's if there's crap in there, it won't work. So we're going to tighten this up here as tight as I can get it with this, my fingers right now. Then we're going to put some more true blue um, stuff on this one. That way we get this all nice and doped up and clean. Put some goo on it. And then we're going to tighten this up right here. And then we're going to this as tight as we can. Now, remember, we are dealing with plastic, guys. If you go manhandle on this stuff and you get cranking too hard, you will break it. Guaranteed. So we don't want to get too crazy on how tight we get. Um, just do it finger, you know, just hand tight. Don't get no wrenches and start reaching. It will crack. You know how I know? Because I've cracked it. All right. So the next thing we're going to need is a drill bit. Um, a hole saw um, or is a good way to do this. I believe this one here is a two inch and it fits just perfect over my thing. So that'll work perfect. Um, I'll put a link to all this stuff down in the bottom of this video, but um, we definitely need one of these. If you don't have one of these, it's really a pain in the neck trying to, I've taken a drill bit before, taking it and um, traced around there and then drilled all the way around it, knocked it out because I was too, um, I live about 25, 30 minutes from my nearest hardware store. So this is really the best way and the good looking way. So we take our drill here, hook it up here, 
And then I'm going to go up here in the front. I've already got it marked. And I'm going to just drill it in here. All right, I got it drilled in. Next thing we're going to do is, is we're going to take this off here. you got to remember that this is backwards thread. So if you do righty tighty, it's actually loosening it up. If you do lefty loosey, it's going um, back tight again. So it's actually backwards thread. So normally what happens here is, is you take off the, the nut here and then you take the washer off and you shove this in and this keeps the water from sloshing out. Now what I do is, is I actually take this off right here and I um, put this on this, this, this Hudson valve because I'm trying to get as much water in there as I can being that I'm only using a 35 gallon minute pump. So I will actually stick it in here, stick my washer on top and then put that there. So it's not a whole lot that I'm gaining, but you know, it might be a gallon or something. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the lid off, slide it up under, slide your hand up in there, slide it up under, slide it on there. Get my other stuff here so I can grab it here. Put it on. And again, back of thread. It gets me every time. Sometimes I can't still get it. There we go. And then just tighten it up. Once we're done with that, we get it nice and snug. Again, we don't want to get it too killer tight. If we get it too killer tight, we will break that fitting. Um, I've done it too many times. I haven't, I've done it more than once. Next thing we're going to do is, is go ahead, put some more blue glue on this piece here. This is our, our one inch to three quarter inch, um, one inch to three quarter inch PVC here. And we're going to just screw this in right here on top. Again, this is the one that if you get cranky on this too tight, you will break it. Guarantee it. And usually, I don't try to do no more than hand tight on that. So, that will allow us to get about 30 gallons of water um, in our 35-gallon tank here. 28 to 30 gallons, which is plenty big enough buffer tank for us for a four to five, even a five-gallon minute tank. If I go to an eight-gallon I'll use a 65 gallon tank instead of the 35 gallon. Um, but this a way I can um, have, it'll automatically turn the water on and off for me. And I don't have to worry about overflowing all my water coming into it just in case it does flow more than that. So this is how we install. The next thing we want to do is, is get a shop vac. And with this shop vac, we, are going to suck out all the shavings in there so that way we do not take and suck up into our injector get a piece of plastic into our pump here so this is a very important part is to make sure that we are cleaning all that stuff out and this is how we can install the cuts and float valve so that way we don't um, we definitely want to clean up our crap inside there because if we don't then what happens is when you pull out the little um, valve here on our pump, you'll see a little plastic thing in there. What a, what can call, what it'll act like is a, is a machine gun. It'll go da, 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 when you open it because that little valve is not working because it's got crap in it. And so that means with it being having crap in it, it will cause it to um, not be good and do that and, and cause it to give you issues. So. That is how we install a Hudson float valve. Very simple, very easy. Um, it's not very difficult at all. And this is how we can install our um, Hudson float valve for that. So this is a whole trailer build I'm doing on this whole trailer. I will have a whole playlist right up here that you can go check out. Um, if you would like to learn more about pressure washing, go check out pressurewashhelp.com training. 
And then I have a whole membership of showing you how to set up a trailer, how to do the whole nine yards, how to pressure wash, how to get business. Um, in there, there's marketing stuff. And then that marketing stuff is probably worth more than anything else in my membership. I have um, how to do AdWords, how to get your Google My Business up and set up right and all that stuff. I'm going to put how to do Facebook ads, how do you do sign marketing, everything you need to know about marketing so you, you can grow your business and be successful.